It is not every day that I review a vehicle with a car seat in the back that runs tens. When you think about fast SUVs, you probably think about the Jeep Trackhawk or the Dodge Durango SRT. But the one that a lot of people seem to overlook is the Explorer ST, a three liter twin turbocharged six cylinder that has defeated Trackhawks with only bolt-ons. So how do you take this family SUV and run a 10 second quarter mile? Let's talk about it. This is the Explorer ST. I've actually never driven a factory one and uh, this one makes 700 wheel right off the rip. I'm just gonna say it. So this is pretty much the peak example of what somebody could do with bolt-ons and some other things, which we will get into. But the Explorer ST, the closest thing I have driven to this is actually the Police Interceptor, which has an EcoBoost motor in it. So the Explorer ST, it's got a three liter V6 turbocharged engine, and they're already very peppy. Ironically, it's the fastest of the ST lineup. Out of all the ST cars that Ford made, bone stock, they, the Explorer was the fastest one. I'll be honest, I thought the Explorer ST had the 3.5 motor that you'd find in F-150, the Raptor, even the Ford GT on an extreme level. The three liter is still a freaking beast because the EcoBoost has a bunch of different iterations. You have everything from the 2.3 to the 2.7 to the 3.0 to the 3.5. So it can get kind of confusing sometimes. So you have this thing. It was kind of made to be kind of meet in the middle of everybody's need to wanted something that was performance oriented, but they couldn't have a small car. The Explorer is a big car. It's a big vehicle. I know you probably are mad at me for saying car, SUV. I get it, but it's a big vehicle. It's also a three road vehicle. So if you think like Dodge Durango, SRT, something like that, it could compete with that. Or even the Trackhawk. Because the EcoBoost motor, you know, it's not gonna sound like a Hellcat V8, but they are incredibly efficient. With just some bolt-ons, you can make tons of power. But with this one, it's got an E50 mix. It's also got turbos. It has upgraded turbos. It has CRP stage five turbos, which means you can run more boost, which means more power. And with an E50 mix, that means more timing, which also means more power. In this big car, you're making 700 wheel. What's really cool about this Explorer SD is that this is true all wheel drive. It's not a four by four or anything like that. It's straight up all wheel drive. When you launch it at the track, you're running a 10 second quarter mile, which is really incredible stuff. You might also notice it is extremely rainy outside and very dangerous and slick, but I actually just got out of my buddy John's Trailblazer, which had the Amera Barra, which is the inline six that Chevy made, which a lot of people are now turboing to make 500 wheel horsepower. I guess you could say we did an older version of this in a way. Okay, so that was about 20% throttle. This thing wants to go. Like the turbos pull up extremely fast. You can definitely tell they're just really good upgraded turbos. I think the coolest thing about the EcoBoost platform is the torque you get. Usually it's not about the horsepower. Most of the time you're making gobs of torque when you do bolt-ons on the EcoBoost because traditionally with the 2.3 especially, you would you know, get on the 2.3, have a ton of bottom end torque because they use an itty bitty turbo the size of you know, the palm of your hand, and then it would just kind of fall on its face up top. That's why a lot of people do like the big turbo setups to kind of throw more power up top. But also the Explorer ST, I actually really enjoy the interior. It's got heated seats, it's got Apple CarPlay, it has all the amenities. The digital dash is really nice. The steering wheel feel is really comfortable, to be honest with you. Tons of space, tons of room, incredibly practical. And when you pop the hood, the motor looks small. I mean, the intake system and everything's really great, but other than that, it's a tiny looking engine. Not many vehicles today you can get in sub $100,000 and essentially have a jack of all trades. You can do literally everything with this car. You can drag race it, you can go into mountains, you can do anything you want with this thing and it can do it. This also has a built transmission. It's got a 10 speed. It's not the 10 R80 that's in the Mustang, but it's the 10 R60. So the 10 R60 is just the variant that they put 
and the Explorer. This one has a belt transmission just to be safe. It makes sense. Coilovers are going to be researched and developed on this car actually at BC, but for now, it's just lowered a little bit. So the car is tuned by ZFG Racing and it also has a Nordstrom fuel system. So upgraded fuel pump, injectors, the works. You have to do it to make this much power. But honestly, so far I'm in sport mode, which is the most aggressive mode. I'm cruising and I'm in ninth gear. I was gonna say six, cause naturally an overdrive was like six, but I'm in ninth gear. The big wheel and tire setup on this as well, big tires i mean all the way around and it is getting in every nook and cranny in the road you feel it pretty good but at the same time more tire means more grip which means harder launches which means more fun i do like that it has paddles so i can control what gear i'm in i know that sounds kind of like a silly thing to point out sometimes with a lot of cars nowadays they don't even give you any manual control even with an automatic what's really interesting too is it has a full exhaust system but the car is still very quiet that was a fifth gear toot. Fun fact, the uh, shifter, the little knob thing, is the same one they have in the GT500. Just figured I'd point that out. <laughs> It started crab walking real good. Um, you can tell the transmission, I don't know, this sounds really cheesy. It's not that you can tell the trans is built, but it shifts aggressively. At the same time, it grips up every nook and cranny in the road. So you have to be really on top of it when you get on it. the automatic mode that's what I've really seen is you put it in the gear you want and it just does the job for you definitely really satisfying to drive just like you know what I'm just gonna go to the store I'm gonna go run some errands and you just want to like be dumb <laughs> it's, it's really good as a jack-of-all-trades be stupid once you're past like fourth gear it rips your face off it's really interesting to see that it's not the lower gears that are the big impression it's actually the higher gears that make the bigger impression. And it sounds like a normal car, <laughs> you know? Like, it doesn't even seem like, I think that's where my face probably changed on camera, was that I was like, oh, oh, we're going now. It's rowdy. Yeah, once it starts pulling past fifth gear, it's, it's, it's rowdy. I do think the car could use some bigger brakes, but I think that's in the works as well, but, yeah, I, it has bite, but you definitely feel the weight a lot when you get on the brakes when you're coming to a stop after you do some fun stuff. I think that's like my only thing I want more. I think I just want a little bit more braking power. Everything else, I think the car is really fun to drive. This thing's fast. Third gear roll on, it's fast. Explore ST with 700 horsepower, and by golly, it definitely makes all the horsepower it claims. <laughs> it's fast. I mean, like I keep saying, the back half is where this thing really shines. The low end is really fun, right? Because the torque hits you, the horsepower hits you, all that's really great. But once the car is up and going and it starts getting that momentum, that's where it really shines as something that feels fast. And the turbos are spooled up, everything's good, peak power, it just rips, man. It's really, really fun. But no, seriously, really enjoyed myself. What do you guys think about the Explore ST with 700 wheel horsepower? Put it down in the comments section below and I will see you guys next time. Take it easy, have a wonderful day, goodbye.